coach, so this past year, six and one in district play, made it all the way to the semifinals. Man, we're a play or two away from being in the finals uh, this just this past year. Kind of tell me, what's 22 look like for your team coming up this next year? Yeah, looking ahead to 2022, uh, to do that, I got to look back at what we did. Um, you know, we established a culture, you know, and, and that's never a knock on what was done previously. It's just a new thing. Uh, you know, we got a group of guys that are completely bought into the new way of doing things. And that's where I have optimism and, uh, you know, what we've got looking forward to next season. Graduated some very talented guys, but uh, uh, having a program that's, you know, feels more established as opposed to a bunch of guys learning the way we do things is, is really encouraging for next year. This off season is a lot different than last off season. There was a lot of change. Uh, this year, there's not the change. Uh, last year, you know, on a personal level, trying to move my family here, uh, getting established, trying to get a staff fired. Uh, staff hired was the number one priority. Um, whereas this year, it's a continuation of what we've already built. Um, you know, we're able to jump right into uh, the weight room and doing things in the weight room the way I want them done. Uh, kind of a coincidence and a funny thing that happened last year was our strength staff uh, all got quarantined right after I got the job. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I got to kind of dive in and uh, where I thought I was going to just evaluate for a little while, I had to basically take it and run with it. Uh, the, the good thing about that was I had it going the way I wanted it to go right away. Social media, first of all, that's a, a product of hiring good people, um, you know, and people that share your values and want to get that branding and that messaging out there. Um, so that's a priority for, for our guys, our staff. Uh, to the tree is something uh, we kind of settled on, uh, you know, midway through last spring. You know, you go all the way back to the days when they played at Kirkland Field. Coach Ragsdale planted a tree down there in the, the south end, uh, past the end zone behind the goalpost. You know, when I was growing up, years later, it was that tree I had to deal with when the PATs were uh, going through the uprights and I had to go get it as a ball boy and deal with that tree. Um, it's iconic for people that have come through Broken Arrow. Um, it's something I wanted to tie in tradition wise. Uh, but then the messaging, uh, you know, currently is that it's past the goalpost. Um, you know, everybody's going to the goal line. Uh, we want to separate ourselves and do something a little bit further, a little bit more. Uh, so for us, we use that, that saying of we're going to go to the tree. We're not just going to go through the goal line. We're going to go all the way to the tree. You know, that quarterfinal win was huge, number one, because it was, uh, you know, a playoff win. Uh, we had earned the right to be able to play it at home, uh, which was a big deal. Uh, it's always a big deal. Um, and then the, you know, the irony of being able to play Owasso and, and uh, my dad uh, was something that's a big deal to a lot of people that cover it. For us, it was getting Broken Arrow's team ready to go play Owasso's team. Um, you know, dealing with it after the fact was kind of funny. I joked with my staff that dad had to call me the next day and they asked why. I said, well, tomorrow's my birthday. He has to call me. So he, he manned up and called me, which was big. And then, yeah, we, we did Thanksgiving over at mom and dad's house. We do everything over there. Um, we, we honestly, we'll talk a lot of ball in the terms of, uh, you know, coaching and, and philosophy and, and things like that, but we really didn't rehash the game a whole lot. The influence in how I coach, it, it goes uh, to a lot of people. Um, I usually comment on the fact that I don't even know who to give credit for a lot of the times. So I've been a lot, around a lot of great coaches, um, but the easy one is dad. Uh, even deeper than that, my grandpa, uh, who's a Hall of Fame Oklahoma coach. Um, you know, I, I grew up watching uh, the way he did things, uh, Dad. Um, specifically, the, the value uh, and the importance of investing and making an impact in, in young people's lives and then even in, in grown men and in, in a staff. Um, I think a lot of coaches eventually get to that as being a priority for them. I had the fortune and the blessing of, of growing up and watching that uh, take place. And so it's something that was always a priority for me when I went into this, this profession.